Well, the cows are rambunctious today. But I'm going to get uh, my run in early this morning. And I was going to tell you the things I learned from Pound the Mound. There's three major things I learned. And um, the first thing I learned was that I get a little crazy in heat. And I guess that's kind of comforting to know because it happened in Mata Hay and it happened this time. And now I know that, you know, I, I know what it feels like and I know I can work through it. So I think that was one of the biggest things I learned is that um, I can deal with the heat and, and, and get through it. I know what it feels like, it happens. So when Mata Hay comes and it's 90 degrees out in North Dakota and super hot, um, I probably am not gonna feel the best but I can work through it. I can, I can run through it, walk through it. So I think that was the biggest thing I learned from this race. But I have just a couple other things that I, I, I learned from that race. Um, and I will tell you them as I get into the run. The second, major takeaway from Pound the Mound was that even when I feel not very good, my stomach's queasy, um, just to keep moving forward. Um, and I hope to do that in the Mata Hay race in two months. Just to keep moving forward because a slow pace is better than no pace. And last year at the Mata Hay, I, um, I took some massive breaks, 45 minutes, half hour at some of these aid stations. So this year I don't want to do that. I'm just going to try to keep on moving even if it's slow. So, I'm not even a mile in yet. My legs are very heavy this morning. I did some speed work yesterday and that combined with the uh, pound the mound probably makes my legs feel a little, a little heavy. I'm a mile in now, over. And the third thing that I learned from Pound the Mound was by accident. Um, it was hot and there wasn't any shade. And so I took my bandana and straightened it out and put it on my head and put my visor over it. But first I got it soaking wet and it felt so good. Um, and then I got to an aid station and my husband put ice under the bandana. And that really helped. So I think that's what I'm going to do on the Mata Hay run. It just really cools you down. And I like the uh, sun coverage. Um, and the it kind of flaps around your face. And it's wet and it feels really good. So... Yeah, I bought all these uh, kind of fancy hats last year and I like this bandana method the best. So, yeah, you'll be seeing that in a couple months at the Mata Hay race. But now, I need to get to some serious running. Put this GoPro down and get to it. I had one last thought. I'm about three and a half miles into the run. But uh, my pace for Pound the Mound was 14.47. And 
if I could main maintain that pace for the Mata Hay, I would have a super good time. Um, even if I had a 15 mile per hour or 15 minute mile pace for Mata Hay, that would be terrific. I would finish the race in, I think, 14 hours. Um, and I think last year, the first women in my race finished in 16 hours. So I don't really think 14 is possible, but uh, I do think that I can get pretty close to 16 this year. We shall see. So just my goal is just to keep moving, even if I don't feel, feel very good, just keep moving forward. Slow and steady. Or if I got it in me faster. So yeah, that's my final final thought. You can see the corns coming up. In a month this should all be green, no brown. <laughs>